रहमान रहीम दिस इज़ मोहम्मद सईद खान आई एम फ्रॉम सुपीर यूनिवर्सिटी लाहौर पाकिस्तान इन दिस वीडियो द प्राइम फोकस विल बी ऑन पैनल डेटा मैथड्स लाइक पूल्ड फिक्सड एंड रेंडम इफेक्ट सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव दिस अ लार्ज डेटा फाइल सो आई एम सक्रोलिंग इट इफ लाइक to read about the panel data so please you can read so i'll differentiate between pooled fixed and random just i'm showing you uh, if you like to learn about the detail so you can learn so here i have different data now Mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm going toward random and fixed effect model. So, is most important about the fixed effect. So, please, I would like to request you read these lines carefully about detail and uh, 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 further. You can also read from here. fixed or random effect fixed effect model versus random effect now this is my prime objective so first of all i'll differentiate between pooled fixed and random effect model so as if i talk about pooled model uh we generate a pool and in pool model uh, we treat all the cross sections entities same further there is another problem in pool model and that is serial correlation if you don't find serial correlation then pool model is good but what if you find serial correlation in the uh, presence of serial correlation we go for the fixed or random effect further actually pool uh, pool model thing that all the variables are same all the cross section are same there is a no difference in reality it's not possible um, if we have different countries data so obviously there is a difference between all the countries so it's a uh, weakness of pool model so guys uh, now i'm talking about fixed effect and random effect fixed effect model controls for all for all time invariant differences between the individuals so the estimated coefficient of the fixed effect models cannot be biased because of the omitted time invariant characteristics so guys uh, in a fixed effect from name you can observe fixed effect uh, means we assume there is a no difference uh, there is a no effect of different uh, behaviors of individuals uh, like uh, male and female suppose i'm talking about male and female so in um, fixed effect we assume that male and female having no differentiation means uh, we uh, treat both same well Uh, if i talk about the random effects i am talking uh, major differentiation between fixed and random model uh, well a random effect model considers random effect model considers uh, and assume that the variance among different entities is random so if you need to detail about the panel or uh, panel uh, panel fixed effect model or random or pool so please go above and read all the document with breaks <coughs> and now uh, actually it was not uh, my aim to teach here about the uh, theory behind uh, fixed effect or random this i want to show you how we can easily uh, run a random or fixed or pool effect model 
वेल यूजिंग आई वो सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव माय पैनल डाटा सेट ड्रैग ड्रैग ऑन यू वाज नाइन लेटेस्ट वर्जन नेक्स्ट इन फिनिश एंड नो और यस इट्स ऑल अप टू सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Uh, I would like to run pool regression. How we can run pool regression? So uh, uh, now select your dependent variable. Now press your control variable. Uh, sorry. First of all, uh, press dependent. I'm sorry. First of all, select your dependent variable. Then press control button from your keyboard and select all your independent variable. first of all select your dependent variable and after this select your all independent variables and open as equation open as equation so friends uh, from here panel option uh, i have no need to change anything simple open as equation and run okay i did not change anything means it's a pooled model okay here now the coefficient values and probability values independent variable first uh, showing positive sign well highly significant uh, means there is a positive and significant association among uh, between uh, independent one and dependent variable well if i talk about the independent two variable there is a negative sign and highly significant so there is a negative and significant relationship between independent two and dependent variable and same for the independent three uh, there is a, a negative sign as well as uh, highly uh, significant uh, means whenever you have probability value less than 5% means there is a significant relationship r square showing how much your dependent variable is affecting by your all independent variables means there is a 73% change in dependent variable is due to all your independent variables so and the remaining is due to error term or other variables which are not incorporated in the model while adjusted r square so there is a difference between adjusted r square and r square whenever you increase a variable r square always increases well adjusted r square only increase in those cases when there is a relevant variable if we increase irrelevant variable r square always increase even the variable was relevant or irrelevant but adjusted r square always increase when uh, when we add a truly relevant variable so always make decision on the base of the adjusted r square not on r square because uh, even you have irrelevant variable in this case r square also increases well uh, here look here as statics so f static calculated value is more than uh, your probability value which is indicating that your overall model is good fit well here Durbin Watson value, uh, which always comes uh, in between zero to four, whenever we have probability value near to two and above two, two and four means whenever we find uh, our calculated Durbin Watson value between two and four, this indicate there is a no serial correlation. well my value is near to one means highly correlation uh, there is a, a severe serial correlation so as earlier i mentioned that it's the weakness of the pooled uh, regression model that it always almost it face a uh, serial correlation problem so now even our coefficients are good our r square value is good but durbin watson value is less than our r square whenever our durbin uh, durbin watson value comes less than our r square this indicate superior results means nonsense results means 
uh, we cannot rely on this model so we have to change so what we can do now so guys uh, I can go for the fix effect and then a random effect model so go estimate and now from here run fix effect only check here only change fixed you have no need to change anything just only change fixed okay now this model is showing the results of fixed effect model so friends again look here uh, coefficient uh, positive sign and significant again negative sign and significant but at in now uh, significant uh, positive but not significant further you can see our r square value increases and durban watson value also improve so how we can uh, select between random or fixed now friends uh, rule of thumb or simplest way the selection between fixed effect or random effect model is a house mint test on the base of house mint test we can apply a random effect model so i have applied fixed effect now i want to see random effect only check from here random okay you can see now coefficient positive probability value significant negative significant negative significant now the promotion value now you can see our r square value decrease as compared to our other two models so actually guys uh, here random effect or fixed effect model was not appropriate uh, actually i have 45 years data so i have a time series nature data uh, that's called is panel time series so i should go for the panel vecm panel wall or panel ardl just i was showing you how we can apply random or fixed effect model so that's why i run uh, random fixed and pooled regression so actually i'm i'm applying wrong econometric uh, method so that's why i'm facing serial correlation so how you can remove serial correlation you may take log or increase or include dependent lags as explanatory variables so in this case so guys now uh, the prime objective how i can uh, decide between random or fake fixed effect model so as rule of thumb apply house mint test null hypothesis for i'm writing here short form so null hypothesis random effect is appropriate so here is a uh, uh, one thing which is most important always uh, apply first fixed effect model then random effect if you apply first random effect and then fixed effect and after this if you apply hausman test uh, you may get error so again first run fixed effect then run uh, random effect and after random effect then apply hausman test so how we can apply hausman test go to view from here uh, 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 uh. from here fix effect now you can see hausman test okay friends the results of hausman test here you can see summary about hausman test actually my null hypothesis was random effect is appropriate while probability value is less than 5% so i cannot accept null hypothesis means uh, i have to accept alternative and alternative hypothesis was uh, fixed effects is appropriate so guys
Now, in this case, uh, on the base of the probability of the Hausmann test, uh, we should run fixed effect model. So, whenever your probability value comes less than five percent, always run fixed effect model. As rule of thumb is, uh, your null hypothesis uh, random effect is appropriate. So, probability value is less than five percent. So, I have to reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis. As alternative hypothesis was fixed effect was appropriate. So guys, thank you so much for being with me. Take care.